feel like we're the hungriest team in the NBA. That's a great feeling to be able to say that, like whether we shoot the ball well or don't shoot the ball well, win or lose, we know that we're going out there every night, giving everything we got with no regrets. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to another video. I'm officially a 76er and this is my first game of the second season. I'm a sophomore. Look at me laying them out, cutting to the basket, going up with two hands and god darn know it, you wasn't in time for that. You gonna get this work all game, just know that. I'm about to wrap circles around you boy, just know that. Nah, no, I'm just playing. No, check it out guys. It's 39 to 28. We're doing pretty good with me not doing much. I only have four points and four assists. A lot of people have been saying that they've been having problems with Hall of Fame and that they can't seem to win a game. Just go to your big men. Do what you got to do. Jalil Okafor and Erlans Noel are crazy in this game. Now, I will admit, sometimes they do some very irrelevant things that don't even matter on the court. But, bruh, the pick and roll and the post up is clean. But check me out as I get the cookies from Derrick Rose. Go ahead and go in with the nice little lamp. I didn't even flick the wrist. I ain't flicked the wrist or the stick. You know what I'm saying? I just went in for the layup. You know what I'm saying? Gave me a nice animation. But what I tell you about these power forwards and centers? The Lance Noel out here getting these crazy blocks, and you know me, man. Doing my little dribble moves, trying to get them off. And look at that. Clear through the middle and post the Bronson and Noah. Yeah, I, I know it wasn't really a poster, but that timeout says that that shit was awesome. I'm just saying. That timeout said it all. Now, I'm playing a slow game with the Sixers just because I want to learn all of their play sets, how things go, and I need the brick wall badge, damn it. I've been laying dudes on their ass all game, and they ain't gave me the brick wall badge yet. Well, God damn it, they need to give it to me soon. Now, make sure you like the video for Derrick Rose getting that and one layup. Oh, my God. Derrick Rose. Ooh, he was he's all that and Aaron Brooks coming in trying to be the be the man like yeah man you you the best in the world baby MVP status baby come on man that layup was poop <laughs> seriously if you want to keep it all the way real that layup was trash you know what I'm saying what happened to the acrobatic Derrick Rose not the Derrick Rose that stop pop float and get fouled come on where you at where you at dude you know what I'm saying? What's up with the Medidas do? And you missed the free throw. Come on, man. Get your life together, bro. <laughs> nah, but check it out, guys. It's 50 to 43. You know what I'm saying? The pressure's on at the foul line. But I got that KD swag. I got that KD swag. I'm telling y'all, man. Best free throws in the game. Kobe Bryant, Ray Allen, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and Michael Jordan. Best free throws in the world. You, you guys can't lose with those free throws. Now, I know I missed that one. My free throw rating is a little shabby, okay? I'm only working with like 10 bars. You know what I'm saying? My attributes right now is trash. And, and did I tell y'all about my playmaking? Like, did I even say anything about my play? My playmaking is about a three. About, a th about three attribute bars, you know what I'm saying? I'm working with. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I'm, I'm a work in progress. But uh, it's 61 to 55. We still holding the lead, even while I'm doing ass. But check this out. I knew that I wanted to give you guys the player of the game. And I realized that in order to get that, I had to excessively call for the ball. Now, this is a new team. This is all new chemistry. This is all new coach and the way he plays and if he likes me or not. And I noticed that sometimes my teammates wouldn't give me the ball. But in order to show my worth, I had to actually do something when I got the ball. Now, here you guys are just going to see a couple plays where we go back and forth. Play a, little, a couple sets. And, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way they're supposed to of course i'm still ass but what i will tell you is every time another team scores i come down with ice in my veins you hear me ice in my veins now you guys just seen hit the little baseline jumper you know it's cheese but check this out i hit him with the little left right you know what i'm saying to get the end one to go on noah Hey, Noah, didn't I tell you he was going to get this word? You was talking all that ish in the interview, bruh. All that ish in the interview, but every time I get to the line, it's because of your punk ass. I'm just saying, man. Is you is you nice? Is you at? Well, what are you? You know what I'm saying? But moving on, it's 84 to 75, and I told you guys, I'm still playing the offensive sets, still trying to get my teammates to like me, you know, a little bit of teammate chemistry, and what I tell y'all about the one-on-one -on -one game? What I tell y'all about the one-on-one -on -one game? Let's go. Time out needed. They can't guard me. They can't guard me. 
You feel what I'm saying? Now, I poked the ball loose right there and get the nice little two-hand dunk to go. Now, the reason why I didn't put the steal in the play is because you guys already know what the steal looks like. You run up on him, you back up, you run up on him again, you back up, you run up on him again. Once he stands up straight, you just press the steal button. And guess what? You get the cookies every single time. Now, Jalil Okafor hits his free throws from the line. It's a tight game, 114 to 106, 42 seconds left. Your boy has 26, 5, and 10. Now, we're not going to talk about my turnovers. Hell to the no, no. <laughs> we're not going to talk about my turnovers, but what we are going to talk about is this potential player of the game. Now, I've done just about everything I could to let my team win and keep our lead, but Jalil Okafor also went off this game, and I've been telling people about him like crazy in my career. This dude don't miss. He get a ton of rebounds. He get a few assists, but I think I filled the stat sheet just enough to pull out that player of the game. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know if you think I got the player of the game or if Jalil Okafor trolled me. You know what I'm saying? It popped up in one of my interviews like, nah, bro, I'm going to go ahead and take all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take all that. But this is your boy IKC signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My next video will probably be my first game as a starter. Or should I do some connections, training, you know, or endorsement videos? Let me know below. Peace. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin, and now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He led the way tonight with a double-double and was a major reason why they won tonight. His effort and intensity gave them the boost they needed. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. The thing that has to jump out of you is all of those points in the paint. He found every gap in the defense that he could, and he never stopped attacking the basket. If the D was expecting him to just hang out on the perimeter, they were wrong. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon. reason you had such a hard time taking care of the ball tonight? There's no excuse. I just got to be more deliberate with the choices I make. You get careless with the ball in this league and teams will make you pay. And that's on me. When did you know it was going to be one of those nights on the offensive end for you? After I saw a few shots go down, it was pretty clear I was in a good rhythm. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. Next. You went through a lot last year as you got acclimated to being in the NBA. And then you went through a tough time in the offseason with the death of your childhood friend, Victor. Can you explain your mindset to us as you try to move forward this season? Look, last year went by in the flash, so I ain't even thinking about it no more. It's about what I can do now with this team right here. Vic's gone, and sometimes I still can't believe it. But he's in a better place. And that has nothing to do with my play this season. None. So from now on, let's not bring up my past, and let's keep these things to basketball only, all right? I'm ready to take the next step this season, and that's all you need to know. Thank you. Thank you.